Go, 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 go. Why did I press that so late? Growing up, I didn't have a Nintendo. I never played Donkey Kong. And I understand it's pretty nostalgic. So I decided, let's get some of that nostalgia magic here on this channel. And uh, no better way of uh, playing it than creating a custom controller. And I know Nintendo created a custom controller for Donkey Kong. And for some reason, it was Bongo's. I think if Donkey Kong wanted a controller, it'd be a banana. So that's why we're making a controller out of banana. Now, you're probably wondering, how on earth are you gonna turn a banana into a button? And honestly, that's the easiest part of the project. The harder part of the project is to get the Arduino to talk to the Nintendo. It's nearly half past midnight when we hit the stage, but we're the 90s kids. This is our golden age. As the music starts and the lights come on, we... Finally, I have a banana button. Uh, it took a little longer than I thought, an hour. Uh, so, yeah, whoops. So to get a microcontroller to talk to an NES Classic, we're gonna do a man in the middle attack. A man in the middle is when you have two people communicating and you have a third party come in and intercept. He has the option to relay it, stop it, or to go ahead and change the message. In our example, we're gonna use an NES, an NES Classic controller, and a Arduino. So it turns out I don't need to do man in the middle. Um, I don't know why I thought I needed the controller. Yeah, made no sense now that I think about it. So I guess it's back to the drawing board. A while back, William Osman modified a N64 controller. Um, he soldered uh, two wires to it to connect it to a relay uh, to trigger it through a scream. So we're gonna try that minus the scream part. So let's see how this goes. As the music starts and the lights come on, we are you. Remember days gone past before the cell phone age We rode our bikes downtown to hang in Pete's arcade And the world around us seemed a somewhat hopeful place mm. uh, I'm definitely out of focus. Uh, soldering's not really working. I don't know what, how, how to, how to, how to, how to, how to, yeah, I suck at soldering. I guess back to the drawing board to try to figure out uh, what, what to do. Okay, I think this one's foolproof. And my last idea. Instead, we're gonna use servos. So you're gonna to touch the banana that tells the Arduino the banana was touched that will tell the servo to move, which will press a button, which will then trigger the NES. As the music starts and the lights come on, we are you. Remember days gone past before the cell phone age. We rode our bikes downtown to hang in Pete's arcade. Okay, so it took a little longer to make than I thought. Um, I have the servo glued to the controller, and now if I press an arcade button, it will trigger the servo to press the B button for me. So fun fact, B does nothing in Donkey Kong, and that's the button I made test. Uh, well, that sucks. Let's try a different game. Okay, but it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't hold it down. I didn't build it for that, uh, so it works. As the music starts and the lights come on, we are you. Remember days come past before the cell phone oh. age. We rode our bikes downtown to hang in Pete's arcade. And the world around us seemed a somewhat hopeful place. You need to be nice to your banana. Why? Because you don't want to hurt its peeling. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Got one. Oh. So we made the world's first edible controller. I think. 
So, false. Not only is it not the first edible, but apparently there's been banana controllers already created? Ah, uh, yeah. Change plans. We're gonna make the world's first plantain game controller. The heck? Go, 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 go. For, go, go. Like, why? This plantain does not wanna work half the time. The only one that's working really well is the one I cut. So I got an idea. Ooh, I think we're onto something. Please get me, please get me. Why did I press that so close? <sighs> I don't think it's possible to beat the game this way. Um, sometimes in life you gotta throw the towel in and I... Uh, I don't have a towel. Sometimes in life you gotta throw a plantain in count your losses when you get them so uh yeah so please leave a like comment subscribe uh this video has been a doozy and a half to create uh i'd appreciate uh if you guys gave me some ideas and uh i love you banana jokes banana jokes banana jokes why was the banana upset because someone mistook it for a plantain <laughs> why did the banana go out with the prune because it couldn't find a date. <laughs> what was Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana. Banana.